Hey guys, Harry here, and welcome along. Oh, I seem to be breaking something. And welcome along to the Minecraft Stanley Parable version, or Stanley Parable Minecraft version. One of those ways. Yes, this is the Stanley Parable in Minecraft. It was made by Half Crafted and. Or the same person, Dilbert Twally, uh, the best name ever. Um, the narration is by Kevin Brighting, and the original mod slash game um, was made by Davy Redham, which I don't. It's not a mod slash game; it's mod and game because it was originally a mod. And if you haven't have gone, if you haven't played it before, make sure you go and buy it on Steam. It is amazing. Um, but first, watch this video, and then yeah. Um, so here are just a simple rule. Um, Although it will switch by default, please remain in peaceful slash adventure mode so you do not break other map. Thanks for downloading. Um, it says, take me. No, thank you. I'm quite all right. Let's begin the Stanley Parable. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Oh, that's good. So this is the office. Um, it's awesome. Woo! And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say, hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, so now the actual narration is in Minecraft. It is so amazing. I love it so much. Uh, and this is the best flower ever. Oh, what did you do? Had to put that back there. Actually, no, I don't like it. There. I reckon we put it. Hmm, where should we put it? Oh, we put it on top. We should just put it on top of here, shouldn't we? Oh, look at that. It looks so much better on there. We'll just put it on there. It looks good. Yes. So this is Stanley's office. Um, if you've watched the original. Stanley Parable, you would recognize this place a bit. It's not perfect, obviously, because it's in Minecraft, but this is his office, and I need to make the picture huge. So, where's it gone? <gasps> I've lost it. Oh, there it is. It's jumped on the table. Um, yeah, there we go. We'll have um, the woman holding a, a pig. Okay. So, yes, let's carry on with the Stanley Parable. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. Okay, so we'll go and head somewhere. If we press these, maybe something will happen. I don't know. This is a printer, uh, the scanning thing, by the way. So if you go get your bum scanned. Um, <laughs> I just realised how weird that sounds. Um, we'll just move on. Yes, um, so this is the offices and we shall go and continue the game we've got another office bit here oh just stood on there and panicked then because i heard the um the noise of the thing i really can't speak and there's nothing in there because if you go in there you'll end up in a black hole which wouldn't be very good and there is a blue room there with nothing in it awesome there's just a nothing outside there's never anything outside by the way oh there's two doors it's choice time. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. So for the first time, uh, the first episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow his instructions with this. Um, I'm actually going to go do everything that he says and see what happens. Uh, there's actually a room here that's not loaded, so you can see some... Wow, a lot of redstone happening, actually. 
Whew. Right, and we'll just Yet go... there was not oh. a single person here either. It's a very large Feeling room. a wave of disbelief, Stanley Ooh. decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, so we'll go up to the boss's office. And again, don't worry, it will render eventually. Um, the receptionist has two computers, because um, they're fancy, and they've stuck the mouse to the side of the screen for some reason, and... Stepping into his manager's oh. office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him, and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, Two eight, eight, four, four five. five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. No, he couldn't have, but... Hmm, could he? Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. <laughs> he like stepped into the newly opened passageway. <laughs> he looks like a person. <laughs> That's the noise of someone eating me, by the way. So let's go into the lift. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Mm. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Oh, that was a bit bumpy towards the end. Right, we'll head down here then. Two. Um, nothing this way in. Mind control facility is what this place is called. So I'll just let it render a bit. Come on, that's it. Off we go. I won't press it until we've rendered enough. Right. In that corner, you, render. Thank you. This corner, you, render. Thank you. So this is the mind control facility watching secret room. Ooh, let's press the button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Wow. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? You know what's really annoying? I've eaten too many pies and I can't fit through here. That is so annoying! I want to go through. Fine, I won't. Now ah, the monitors jumped to life. Their true Ooh. nature revealed. Each bore the number wow. of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. That is so cool. And I'm, I'm in 1.7.4 as well. That's not with any fill command or anything. That is awesome. This place is huge. Wow. Let's continue. Boak. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Mm. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Yes. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? Yes. That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yes. Oh, dear. No. Oh, okay. He no. He refused to believe it. I he couldn't it. accept it. No. His own life in someone else's control? Yes. Never. Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was Probably. it even possible? Probably. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Uh, I really don't know. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labelled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Three. And as the cold reality of his past began to One. sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Oh, is this my favourite button? Because it says eating. Don't judge. I like food. I wonder whether we could jump up there if we're clever. Can we jump up it? We might be able to. That's one, two, that's four blocks ish. Should technically be able to. I don't know. Um, so there's five. And this big red button here. That does nothing. It's just a fun fact. That might need to change. I'm not quite sure. Because literally, it's just like a massive red button that does nothing. So 
yeah, let's head down here. But first, we must press zero. That's what they should say. There's a furnace there. We can do some cooking. And four. <gasps> Wait, what's down here? Wow, this seems really awesome. What's down? I see something at the end. Need input. <gasps> right, which one should we choose? Oh, I said I was going to do exactly what he said. And he said that I was going to turn it off. So here we go. I, th I think we did it. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? I hope so. Yeah! Woo! Yes! Yeah! He had won! Woo! He had defeated the machine! Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. That is a pretty immense Where door. Where had his co-workers gone? McDonald's. How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? Pressing a button. What other mysteries did this strange building hold? Oh, no. But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. <laughs> I'm just gonna jump out. Yay! I won! I jumped out! Okay, I'll go back in. It's fine. Yeah, chase it quick. Go, go, go. Oh, I missed it. We're free! Woo! Yeah. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. <sighs> the feeling still kind of, of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Mr. Mugao. And Stanley was happy. Yay! And now you're trapped in white box. <laughs> Okay, yes, yeah, so that was the Stanley Parable Minecraft version. Now, there is some other endings to it. So, I will be doing those next time. And, yeah, um, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. If you want to leave a comment below, go for it. Why not? Um, also, check out my other video. Uh, videos i'm very excited because that was really awesome uh also visit the website messabouts.co.uk for more information about different bits there'll be a link in the description to this map if you do want to play it for yourself and i shall see you in the next video ta -ra.